Hello my lovely friends, so my name is Ava and today I have some Kindle Unlimited recommendations for you. I love Kindle Unlimited, I use it all the time and I'm constantly needing and wanting more recommendations so I can optimize my subscription service. So these are 10 contemporary romances that I have loved reading recently that are on Kindle Unlimited that I hope that you love as well. I also have one previous recommendation video of contemporary romances on KU, I'll link that down below. And I do also wanna preface that um, authors can take books on and off Kindle Unlimited whenever they want. So as of right now, December 2023, these books are all on Kindle Unlimited. Way past this point, um, that might change. So please do not get mad at me if they're not on KU anymore. I am not responsible for that. As of right now, all 10 of these books are. The first one that I have is The Co-op by Tara DeWitt. This is such a fun one. If you love like rival celebrities with amazing banter, look no further. This audiobook is also fantastic. I loved it. Okay, so our hero and heroine like basically like, kind of like grew up with each other, um, like family friends kind of thing because their grandmothers were like best friends. They lived in this like duplex home together. And when their grandmothers pass, their grandchildren get their respective parts of the duplex of the house that is needing a lot of help in order to sell. So um, the two of them have a budget in order to fix up this house and sell it. The only issue is both of them don't have anywhere else to live but this house and they despise each other. <laughs> they do not like each other at all. There's bantering, bickering, like poking at each other. Mm. It's so fun. These two like have a history together, so that's why they don't really get along. But obviously with their forced proximity, things arise, things happen between the two of them, okay? And that that hate very much turns into love. If you're wanting a cowboy romance, I have Rain Me In by Miss Kayla Gross, the queen herself, okay? Um, this one is so fun. This is about Blake and Gavin. Blake hasn't really come to her family ranch in her small town in a few years something happened to her brother her brother is not with them anymore and she just her her soul aches when she's back there she she doesn't feel like it's home without her brother there so um this is her romance with her brother's best friend who is younger than her at the beginning of the story the heroines come back to her small town to help on out on the ranch because her mother was injured recently and so she's gonna help take care of her and the farm and like do some things. One of her first nights back, her dad kind of like reels her in to go with him to the country bar in town. This is very popular. And there she runs into Gavin, who ends up peer pressuring her almost to ride the mechanical bull. Little does you know, she has a little bit of PTSD right now with writing, even on the mechanical sort, like even just the motion of riding an animal is very traumatic for her. And she is not happy with this man at all. Not happy with him. And Gavin doesn't realize that until after the fact. And uh, he's going to gravel his butt off <laughs> to get back in her good graces because he's had a crush on her since he was a kid. And uh, he wants this woman. Like he wants her. And he thinks this is the perfect time to make her his. So I do have one novella on this list and that is Take a Chance by Mike O'May. This one is about Cassandra and Cyrus and they end up meeting while on vacation. Cassandra's there by herself. I think her best friend got sick and she couldn't go on the trip with her but her friend, best friend was like go on ahead, go without me, go have some me time, go do it. Um, so she goes on this trip by herself and the hero is actually there because his brother's getting married and they're on like a friend group trip um, and they end up meeting one night at the bar and they're very into each other, okay? It gets very fun between the two of them. And they think they're just gonna have like a fun time on vacation, but then feelings actually start to develop between the two of them and like what's gonna happen when vacation's over? Like what are they gonna do? Next is The Plus One by Maisie Eddings. I've read all the books in this series so far and I think this one's my favorite. I love this one. This is the childhood <laughs> enemies uh, to lovers romance between Indira and Jude. Jude is Indira's brother's best friend and Indira's brother is getting married. And so Jude gets allowed leave. He's out in the field in a 
countries at war being a medic a doctor and uh, this is the only way he was able to pay for college was to volunteer to serve so he has leave right now and he is like terrified to go back he is not doing okay mentally his mental health is not doing great because of everything he's experienced he has unfortunately lost more patients than he has saved them in his career and he is not happy with his life at all but then indira shows up at <laughs> jude's best friend's house okay and uh she needs a place to stay because she just broke up with her boyfriend who was cheating on her and so they have to share the two like they have two guest rooms indira's brother does has two guest rooms in his house and they share a bathroom and so they're like linked together so they kind of like have to be roommates for a little bit <laughs> it's really fun it's really fun i love the discussion of mental health in here like i connected to jude on a level i never thought possible i love it so much and i love indira's character and her realizing that everyone's flawed she's a therapist and she has her own inner struggles that she's working with when it comes to her mental health and she feels like she's not worthy to provide that kind of support for other people when she's not 100 percent herself and her therapist just trying to tell her like girl everyone like you don't think i have problems like everyone has problems so <laughs> i love this one so much and if you're wanting a book with a great representation i totally recommend it this cover may not look like it's a contemporary romance but it is this is dukes and deeks by tori jean one of my favorite books that i've read recently it came out in november um it doesn't really look like it's contemporary because the two characters in here are actually dressed up in historical clothes okay so this is not a historical romance they're dressed up like characters from pride and prejudice so our two main characters in here have been best friends for quite a while they have both been secretly like pining after each other for years though i love mutually pining romances um i just want them to both like admit their feelings like i love it so much okay so um the hero in here jack is a hockey player and he gets suspended for a few games because he did something he was not supposed to on the ice rink and um he ends up getting roped into helping his friend ollie put on her jane austen festival and he has a little bit reluctantly agreed to play wickham and their kind of like rendition of pride and prejudice while at the fair and ollie is gonna be um lydia it's so fun. It is so stinking fun. I love this one so much. I love the Jane Austen vibes, the fall vibes. It let me like feel so cozy and like, mm. this was so fun. There's also own voices rep for endometriosis. Big trigger warning in here also, by the way, for medical gaslighting. I know that a lot of other people as well as myself ex have experienced that and that can be kind of triggering for people. So like, please be aware of that. This book is about her, part of it is um, her being diagnosed with endo. Doctors in this book made me want to scream. <laughs> I've met too many of them in my life and I bet Tori has as well its own voices for endo. So I really, really love this and I really recommend it if you're wanting. Like if you are a Jane Austen lover, pick this up, please. Next I have Torn by Karen Cole. This is definitely a like taboo read. This is a romance with our heroine and her dad's best friend. So Torin, when he was around like 15, I want to say his best friend, had Kenzie, the heroine, and they essentially kind of like grew up together in a sense. Um, like he was like 15 when she was born and they have been like best friends since they were born. Like he has been by her side her whole life and they have never thought romantically about each other like ever until I think Kenzie's like 19, I wanna say. Then both like their switches are flipped. All of a sudden they're like, whoa, I think we would be really good together. Um, but there's obviously the forbidden aspect of um, Kenzie's dad. <laughs> Kinsey's dad, their age difference, like there's a lot going on in here, but it's a, it's a great read. There's a lot of good like emotions that both of them deal with in this book. Next, I have a duet for you. This is the, what's the duet called? The Best Kept Secrets Duet by Candy Steiner. The first book being What He Doesn't Know. Um, and then this is the second book, What He Always Knew. I have the second book, but I don't have the first one because I don't think I can get the first one with the people, people on them anymore. I think I missed my chance because they redid they redid the covers so um yeah i need book one i know anyway um that's book two um but what he doesn't know so this duet if you want like a true a true love triangle romance when you where you don't know who the heroine's gonna pick you gotta pick this book up so the heroine of the story she's married and she feels like empty like her marriage has fallen apart to a point where she doesn't know what to do she does not feel like her husband is in love with her anymore 
she feels very distant from him because of something that they experienced a few years ago. She is a teacher and a new teacher is hired at the school and I think it happened to be like her boyfriend in high school I want to say and old feelings resurface and things happen so there is cheating in here okay there is cheating just forewarning okay um, and it is a love triangle romance with her her husband and um her old childhood flame definitely a lot of angst in here a lot of forbidden stuff so if you're not into those tropes though like maybe steer clear of this one but like i would i was like chomping at the bit to read this i don't normally love love triangles i don't love cheating but for some reason like these books hooked me like i could not stop reading them <laughs> I could not. Then I have Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. Oh, this one was so fun. Um, my hair went in here was on a reality dating show, essentially like The Bachelor, okay? And think of The Bachelor choosing a woman at the end, right, to propose to. That's who our heroine is in here, Jada. And he literally gets on one knee and she rejects him. She's like the last woman standing and she says no to his proposal. All of America like hates her because she like broke this man's heart. In reality, though, like Jada didn't like see anything with this guy. Like, she realizes that. Like, when he's down on a knee, she realizes, like, oh, I don't think I see anything with him. Like, it just, like, pops up like that. And uh, she seeks refuge in her grandmother's town. Her grandmother owns a hockey team and knows that one of the players, our hero in here, owns a bakery. And Jada's in need of a job. And so her grandmother basically sets her up to work at this bakery. The hero and the heroine don't really get off on the right foot. She kind of insults his bakery for a second before she realizes she's gonna work there. And it's really funny too, the heroine has no idea how to bake, so she's just at the counter the whole time. He tries to teach her to bake at a few points and it just, it's a recipe for a disaster, okay? Donovan the hero is a football player, like I said before, and when he's not playing on the football field, he runs this bakery, he's very passionate about. However, business is a little bit slow and he doesn't really know what to do. He doesn't know how to get more customers in. So when Jade is hired, people end up recognizing her and come into the bakery and uh, they get more business and more traction because of that. But to get even more, the two of them decide to fake date. So, and the two of them don't really like each other. It's a recipe for like an amazing, amazing, amazing time. A mafia romance that I have is Silent Lies by Neva Altaj. This is the most recent book in her Perfectly Imperfect series. So book number eight, it is finally on Kindle Unlimited. What Neva likes to do with her releases is I think she, the first month of release, it's not on Kindle Unlimited, but after it's been out for a month, she'll put it on KU. So all the other books are out in KU, um, but like the next book that comes out, you have to wait a month until it's on Kindle Unlimited. So Silent Lies is on Kindle Unlimited now. This is the romance between Sienna and Drago. Drago is this big mafia boss and he gets an arranged marriage with Sienna from a different mafia family. And uh, mm, I don't really know what else to say. I really like this one. So the heroine is very unique, especially with her clothing style. She loves to be very loud with her clothing in a world, like the mafia world is very black and one tone with their color scheme, right? And she just loves glitter and sparkles and color everywhere. And Drago is not used to this at all. He kind of thinks like wife's a little crazy, <laughs> but um, he loves her craziness. Like he loves her loves her ambition and her passion for things. And that's all I wanna say about that one. I really love this one. It's one of my favorites in the series, especially like in the later chunk, the latter chunk of the series of books that are currently out. Like I really enjoyed this one. And the last one that I have is The Wreckage of Us by Brittany Cherry. This one's also, I think, Whisper Sync as well. So if you download this book on Kindle Unlimited, I think you can listen to the audiobook for free. This one I will say is more in the new adult range. So both characters are in their late teens or early twenties, I wanna say. The heroine does not have a good home life like whatsoever. Her mother hasn't been the best to her ever since she started dating this guy and his this guy's not into the right scene, okay? Um, he might be a dealer, you know what I mean? So um, she is not into that. She doesn't wanna get roped into that, like hates that lifestyle. So she ends up needing a job to earn money to move out, like she needs to get out of there. She ends up getting hired to work on the ranch that Ian, Ian Parker's family owns. I think they went to high school together and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ian does not like her, does not like her, doesn't really give her a chance though. He just knows that her like stepdad or her mom's boyfriend is this guy who heavily influenced his own parents who ended up abandoning him. And so he kind of takes it out on the heroine of the story and she is not for that at all. She's not into that. I just also love these dyna the dynamic between these two characters. You have like a country ranch boy and kind of like like a goth girl, like she wears black all the time, black makeup, 
like black hair, black clothes. Um, even when it's like 100 degrees outside, she's gonna wear her long sleeve black clothes. She's my hair. <laughs> this is just a fun read and I really love seeing these two characters fall in love on page. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 romances that are contemporary that are also on Kindle Unlimited. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any type of flower emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.